The old Yamaha O2R is gone and now I have a Yamaha DM2000. And one of the great advantages is that it has a studio manager. So the first thing I did was connect the mixer to my computer. Then I looked for Yamaha on the internet. I search for the DM2000, press enter. And there we are. software and installed the drivers and the studio manager. You can open the studio manager here. I have everything already in use. So the left one is for the studio manager, the right one is to control Cubase. I've installed it only for this video. I prefer the CC one to one from Steinberg. This is how you can add another one. You have to uh, activate them here. It is not assigned by default, so you have to assign it here. And then assign the DN2001. That's for the studio manager. Then you open it and go to System Setup in the file. And then assign it again. Yamaha DN2001. Then you go to synchronize. Everything I do on the mixer is synchronized with the studio manager and the other way around. And that's so wonderful about it. Here you can arrange your studio manager. Pick and choose whatever you want. change here is changed on the mixer too. So you can use a click of the mouse instead of all the knobs on the mixer. It saves a lot of time. You can downsize it and then it's in the left corner. You can arrange it by hand or you go to tile in the menu and then the computer will do it for you. It's handy if you have a lot of things running. I'm working with the two monitors and on the right one I have the studio manager. And also the mixer of Cubase. If I press F3 then the studio manager will disappear and I have the Cubase mixer again. Press it again and the studio manager is back. Now 
now I've pressed remote one on the board and then this will happen. It's controlling Cubase now. Now we are back on the mixer. To use the remote control of Cubase you have to go to setup and open the right path. The studio manager is USB 1 and the door Cubase is on USB 2. And now it has to be assigned in the studio setup in Cubase. It's already assigned here. You can add the FIs here. And if you've done so, you have to open up your MIDI port and then you have to choose Yamaha DM2000 2. That's for your door. If I quit the whole thing, I never save anything here. It's saved on the board. 